there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker. Today, we are starting off the next 100 review period, because I've just recently done my top 10 favourite and least favourite ciders lists, with a horrendously out-of-date cider. Yep. Um, I recently just uh, received uh, another box from Orchard Box, and, you know, very good um, selection. However, I did have one from the Nempnet Cider Company, um, I believe so, yeah, the Nempnet Cider Company. It's their Piglet's Choice Medium Sparkling Cider. There you go. Uh, medium Sparkling Somerset Cider, yep, there we are. So, um, this comes in at 500ml, uh, 500ml bottles and is 6% ABV. Um, however, I don't know if you can kind of, you can't really see the date on that, but on closer inspection, that says the 6th of October 2016, which, uh, well, it's actually rubbed off completely now, but trust me, it said 6th of October 2016, which I uh, suppose at the time of this recording, that would make it... Uh, just over eight months old. Uh, just over eight months out of date, should I say. Um, now, generally, ciders and beers, if they go out of date, it generally doesn't matter. Um, you might lose a little bit of the flavour, or it might be a little bit more carbonated than it normally is. Um, but generally, you could normally tell when, um, you know, when it is actually horrendously, you know, it's actually gone off because it'll just have a really, like, skunky smell and just wouldn't necessarily taste right. Um, so, I mean, I can tell that this has been around for a while because the, uh, the bottle cap is, uh, completely battered up and everything and the label's kind of losing its edges and everything, but, hey, there we go, it's still probably gonna taste really nice, we shall see. Uh, Nebnet Cider Company, producers of the fine, of fine farmhouse ciders and perry. Nebnet Throbwell is one of Somerset's more idiosyncratic village names. I like that word, idiosyncratic. Not only is it hard to say, but it's also hard to find. It is wrapped in a contorted maze of narrow lanes behind the reservoir at Blagdon. Nebnet Cider Company produce a wide range of ciders and perries, all sold under the brand Piglet's Choice. These ciders and perries are sold to various pubs and shops across the southwest, and apparently in Orchard Box as well. Um, so yeah, there you go. Oxley's Farm Nebnet Throbwell contains sulfites and sweeteners for freshness. Hmm, and sweeteners. Not sure about that one, but there we go. Right, oh well, let's waste no more time. I'm sure um, another 30 seconds or so won't matter because it is already a uh, day anyway. <sighs> God, the bottle cap didn't really want to come off there. Um, well, it said it was sparkling, but there's no carbonation. Oh wow, and uh, the inside of it's the, the inside of it's rusted a little bit. Um, still smells okay. It's uh, smells a little bit dry, a little bit, a little bit tannic, a little bit oaky. Um, but I mean, the bottle is ridiculously full as well. So uh, I feel that it's going to have to be poured into the glass to uh, actually get all the flavours from it. So let's get it poured in. Well, there you go. It's still sparkling. There you go, let's get that poured in. Can't see any self um, sediment in it. Oh, there is. Yeah, there's a touch of sediment. That's always good. Always good to see. Right, well, yeah, that's a really full glass, but uh, there you go, there's the, um, there's the colour. Quite a haze behind it, but it's still lightly carbonated, as you can see. Um, nice dark, orangey um, sort of colour there. Yeah, it does look really nice in the glass. Any more smells? Smelling quite um, sweet now, actually. Little touch of um, little touch of orange. Uh, maybe some red fruits on the nose as well. Hmm. Yeah, it does smell quite nice. You can smell um, smell sort of like um, the the apple, like the peel of the apple as well. Nice. I don't know what uh, apples they've used in this uh, cider, but it does smell really nice. So. I'm hoping it still tastes all right because it smells really, really good. I'm going to be really careful choosing you guys, but there we go. Cheers, guys. Here's to Nebnet Cider Company's Piglet's Choice Medium Sparkling Cider. God, that's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? Cheers. That's quite tangy. Hmm. Yeah, that is, that is quite tangy. Let's get a second bean. It 
Still tastes alright, so that's good. Um, yeah, that's not bad. It's uh, really quite, uh, quite bitter on the taste. It's probably one of the most bitter tasting um, ciders I've had for a long, long time. Really um, tangy as it's going down your throat as well. And yet it's still got that nice balance of not too dry and not too sweet as well, which medium cider is supposed to have. Um, little orangey sort of notes just, um, you know, underlying everything too. Uh, but you can still taste like, you know, the um, apple, uh, the, like the apple peel and stuff uh, that was on the nose you can get in the taste too. Like fresh apple skin, I suppose you could call it. Um, yeah, it's, it, it does taste quite carbonated as well. Um, that's probably just due to it being, well, quite a little bit out of date, so I can't really um, use that to judge it on, but, you know, it does taste a little bit carbonated. It's got a little, a little touch of acidity behind it as well. Um, some slight citric tastes there, a bit of lemon, a little bit of lime too. So uh, all in all, very uh, good like mixture of different textures and flavours um, going on in this cider, which, um, you know, do kind of work sort of well. I would say it's probably a little bit too bitter for my sort of, uh, my sort of taste buds. Um, I mean, I don't mind bitter tasting ciders, but this one is uh, taking it a little bit, maybe a little bit too much. Uh, aside from that though, really nice, um, really nice tasting cider and, uh, you know, has a, a lot of different and complex flavours behind it, so let's go in for a final taste before a final verdict. Hmm. Yeah, not bad at all. Um, I don't know whether the actual sweetness from it is you know, a natural sweetness or whether you can just, you know, taste the sweetness that they've added in. Uh, but, yeah, aside from that, not bad at all. Uh, a, a fairly good first impression of the Nempnet Cider Company because I didn't even realise that uh, these guys actually existed until, well, I got it in my orchard box last time. Um, it's not... It's not my favourite sort of taste, as I've already said, you know, it is a little bit too bitter, but, I mean, if you don't like... Uh, if, you, if you do like your bitter tasting ciders, then uh, this one will go um, go down the treat, I reckon. But for me, I am going to go and give Nempnet Cider Company's Piglet's Choice Medium a 7 out of 10. Um, yeah, good first impression. And I've got two other ones from the Nempnet Cider Company to look forward to as well. And thankfully, they are actually very much well in date. So don't really know what happened there. But I think um, Ultrabox said because they are such a small company, they... Um, they can't deal with uh, like you know high demand and uh, high volumes of ciders, um, and so you know sometimes there are a couple of exceptions that kind of get um, missed along the way, which you know is fine by me. Mistakes happen and everything, and as I've already said, it still tastes absolutely fine as I knew it probably would. For now, that is another episode of the Cider Drink for you guys. I hope you liked it, and as usual, I will be back with another delicious and tasty cider soon. In fact, I think it might be time for a little uh, Q&A, won't it? Maybe a little bit of history behind a certain cider company. Take care, guys. Until next time. <laughs>